No mother, no mother, no mother should go through what I'm going through right now. New tonight, Tyree Nichols family awaiting the release of body camera footage of his deadly beating in Memphis. Today his mother addressing criminal charges against the five police officers involved. Good evening, I'm Brent Solomon. This case hits so close to home for so many in our area. In fact, five on your size, Travis Cummings, joining us now with reaction from local activists. Yeah, Travis. Brent, it hits close to home indeed. That video is gonna be released any moment now and it's opening wounds here in St. Louis where the community has protested following the deaths of people like Michael Brown, Anthony Lamar Smith, and George Floyd. This becomes extremely egregious uh, when you have unarmed people dying at the hands of those who have sworn to protect and serve. Something's wrong when a minor offense can escalate and the police officer, and in Tyree's case, five officers on one. So many questions lingering around a video that shows the moments that led to 29-year-old Tyree Nichols' death. The father and skateboarder was killed following a traffic stop in Memphis early January, and the five former officers behind it are charged with his murder. Nichols was severely beaten and died three days later. St. Louis NAACP President Adolphus Pruitt says point blank humanity needs to be at the forefront when it comes to policing. And some people will be looking to measure the black community's response to see if it's equivalent in their minds to the response of the black community when, when, when a white officer hurt somebody black. Reverend Daryl Gray, who's been on the front lines for years advocating for reform, says seems the marching policy updates and prayer only last for so long. Bad apples in the police department uh, because of culture, because of lack of training, uh, because of their own human error or weakness, continue to set us back two and three steps. So these activists agree this video needs to be a wake up call. What are we doing wrong? What more can we be doing? Uh, how can we weed out uh, within uh, the police for, uh, uh, force? And they have a message for the new St. Louis police chief. He, he, he has a duty to intervene, and I think reinforcing that in officers and holding them accountable to that is, is extremely critical. And groups including Pruitt's and Gray's will gather outside police headquarters for a vigil to support Nichols' family tonight at 7.